Hi there, DW Berman. Uh, every once in a while, we might have to take uh, something from Lightwave and send it out to a print job, like if you're doing an illustration for a magazine or something. So imagine this uh, mess on the screen here is actually something that somebody paid you to do an illustration of, and we need to send this to print. Well, we have our scene set up, and we have it how we like it, but we need to uh, make it print resolution. So how are you going to figure out what resolution to make it? Well, the handy thing with Lightwave 11 is in the Render tab, down here under Utilities, there's a Print Camera button. If you click the Print Camera button, we have this Print Camera a uh, wizard thing here. We can set the unit size in uh, millimeters or centimeters or decimal inches or even uh, picas. So we can figure out what we need. Uh, we can set the the page size using these handy dandy templates or we could manually dial in our numbers if we have a specific paper size we need. But let's say we're going to do this at uh, uh, US letter. There it is. So here, 8.5 by 11. You can uh, put in the bleed size so that uh, that's edges outside of the printed area so that you don't get a sharp edge on your print. And um, with this button set here, we get a set camera frame size. And I actually want this to be, yeah, this is going to be a portrait. So I hit OK. And it tells us that our camera size has been adjusted. So if I click over here on my camera properties, you can see my camera width is now 2700 and the height is now 3450. So let me uh, change my view here so you can see my frame. You can see my frame is now a vertical orientation. Uh, interesting thing, not interesting, but with VPR on, uh, if you hit L to put limited region, and it's the first time you hit limited region and you have not adjusted it, it will automatically snap limited region to the actual frame size. So now I can adjust my camera if needed to just kind of give me a slightly better um, composition to my image. And I'm not going to play with it long because that's not the point of this video. So uh, yeah, I have my camera set and uh, now I can just hit render and render away. However, if you don't have Lightwave 11 and up, uh, there are a couple of other things you can do to figure out the uh, resolution, the, the number of pixels you need to put here and the width and the height. Um, Matt Gorner, the guy who actually wrote that uh, DPI camera, has an older version of that script uh, that uh, works in older versions of Lightwave. So um, it's now included in Lightwave 11, but initially it was a standalone, and Matt Gorner joined the development team and uh, polished it up for the official release. Um, Liberty3D.com, there's a, an Ubercam camera, and in the Ubercam camera, it's actually a collection of cameras, there's a DPI camera, which will let you, uh, which will help you calculate the image size. Uh, one method I've always used or used often, oops, sorry, wrong thing. There we go. Um, is sometimes if I need to figure out the pixel dimensions, I'll just make a new uh, image in Photoshop. If you have Photoshop, this works. And just go to US Paper and just pick the size and DPI or resolution. Set to 300 DPI, hit OK, and if I just come over here to image size, it'll tell me the number of pixels I need to put in for the height and the width. So those are the ways you can get your pixel count. Um, I'm going to render this out here and then jump back and talk to you a little bit after this is done rendering. OK, I didn't really have time to render this out to be a perfectly smooth and crisp image, so you'll see some jaggies on this. But that's OK. This is just for illustration purposes. You can see here that my uh, resolution is 2700 by 3450, and it's showing at 25% of the screen size. I saved this out, and I loaded it in Photoshop. And while this image has enough pixels to be uh, perfectly fine in a magazine, a full page, uh, eight and a half by eleven inch magazine size page at three hundred DPI. You might uh, the image might get rejected because it's not three hundred DPI. Well, three hundred DPI is just how many dots per inch 
are crammed onto the page. And we're not, and LightWave doesn't deal with the physical printing process. So it just deals in the number of pixels. So it's how many pixels get squished into an inch. So in order to make it 300 DPI to meet the requirements of uh, some art directors and um, technicians, you have to go into load it up in Photoshop or a similar program, go to image size. You'll see here we have the number of pixels. We also see that the width here, at the resolution is 72 pixels per inch or DPI. Um, and uh, that's per inch, pixels per inch. So how do we get this to be 300 DPI? Well, you want to turn resample image off. You notice that this box here gets grayed out, so we can't change the pixels. Like if it's on, you can change the pixels, this number of pixels, and with that off, you can't. Uh, if I change the resolution, you'll see the only thing changing is the width. And uh, it's changing to 9 inches by 11 and a half inches. So I'm not sure why that's not 8 and a half, but uh, well, it's because we added the quarter inch bleed around the outside. So if you want to add the bleed, you'll need to compensate uh, with the width. So, yeah, there we go. Um, that is our image. We just have to do that. Hit OK and save it again. And I'll save it as a PSD this time. And there we have our 300 DPI image ready to be sent to whoever you need to send this print image to. And um, thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. You can find my full-length Lightwave 3D tutorials at liberty3d.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.